very it's been very quick now our dollar drawdown is still still about 30 percent but it's nowhere as bad as if we didn't have the break I can tell you now as we get down a bit lower Shane uh, double dip of yours see we've down to we've hit minus 11 and things look like they're improving when Shane hits us with another few more losers here and we go down to about minus I think it's minus 12 exactly minus 12 and a half so this is where now down at the absolute nadir of this draw bottles instead of using 13 lots we're using one which is a pretty severe draw which is a pretty severe uh, reduction now if we look across to the right you can start to see that 45 the minus 45 sorry to the left sorry shame my mistake you can see the minus 45 if we were to go across a couple more columns that is the using the delta 4000 so we're, we're already better off than that if we go to the, so just a couple more that's it okay that's it the minus 52 percent is in the system with a delta of 1500 but there was no break so without the break we, we would be down 52 percent of our account the 48 percent was just oh no we don't need to go back any any further Much worse way without the break the break has actually started to save us a lot of money here and we can see that on the, the equity curves when we go back there so let's go back to our go back to the right to, to where we and let's see how fast this R multiple break can actually help us get us out of this so we're right down to the basic limit now and as we go down we start to get a few more winners you see the R drawdown start to get less and less so another good another good confirmation that our system is now starting to pick us a few winners and you can see that our lot size increases very rapidly we're already back up to 14 and voila another green spot so again we're making new equity highs here so it hasn't taken us very long to get out of that bad patch but we have recognized that it was a bad patch and we I think we get down to the bottom of the the data here so we end up with about 404,000 in the account and if we could go back to the equity curve Shane we will see that we're only about 10% behind the the fixed ratio method without the break but we have saved an awful lot of aggravation on the way so yes exactly so you can see that that we smoothed out our drawdown we've we've minimized our drawdown drawdown compared to the the unbraked mechanism and we're only just a bit behind the growth the, the exponential growth that we see in the fixed ratio now I've got a little bonus for you here this is using this is all based on an R multiple of 25 Shane if you could go back to that I9 spot and let's change let's change that 25 to 20 in other words if you've got a if you're a if you're trading well and actively making sure that you don't hit that 25 very often like Shane does while he's trading this if we change that to 20 and go back to that chart Shane it's on it's on row I column 9 you've done that we'll see in a minute if we go back aha you've done it now you can see that using an R multiple of 18 you can see the complete difference it makes a drawdown is now suddenly a lot better mm. a drawdown is certainly a lot better it's up a, it's now less than 30 percent and we've actually lost next to none of the loss and exponential growth the curve is almost the same 
Now you're starting to think, well, let's let's go, let's change this drawdown to um, to 12, and we can do that. If you go back and change it to 12, Shane, we'll see what happens. Shane hasn't seen this, so he's just going to be just as surprised as the rest of you. Now, you have a look at the drawdown now. So, the drawdown is now only minus 20%, but we start to see a deterioration in our exponential growth. We are now not matching the fixed ratio methodology. The 18 number seems to be optimum for these sets of results. But I hope you can see that if you can defend the risk that you start off with and minimize it, you've got the best chance of lowering your drawdowns. And when your uh, system hits a good period in the market, you will then be there to capture all the exponential growth. We could, for instance, change that R multiple to 8 or something and we will even, the drawdown will even be less, but we will start to see a deterioration in our profit generating ability. That graph will actually start to look a bit ordinary. And let's just face it, eight points, you may not be able to trade that system with an eight point stop. So you start to get to the, into the realms of, of improbability and impracticality. But it is interesting that just decreasing the R multiple from 25 down to 18 makes such a nice contribution to your results. And so look, I hope I've given you something to think about using the R multiples. The, for me, the R multiples are a, a way that I can trade for, 4x using a different pip value. So if I have one trade set up on one currency pair that's uh, a 40 pip risk. I've got another one that's got an 80 pip risk. Uh, for me, they, I just make them equal be the same, risking the same amount on my account. I'll hand it back to you, Shane.